Well, hi there, everybody. And what's this video about? And what's this video series about? Well, I was making the tutorial series I've got called um, Tips for New Quad Flies. And I was coming on to one where I wanted to talk about how to do basic acrobatics, rubbles, flips, that sort of thing. But to do that and get the best out of them, I wanted to talk about um, how to set up air mode. And to set up air mode, you've really got to be into knowing a little bit about beta flight and be familiar with it, and at least a bit comfortable in how it works. And what I've learned getting some feedback from the videos I've done is there's a lot of new guys there who've come with RTF quads who look at beta flight and find it a little bit intimidating or they've gone into it and they're like, yeah, what, what, what is all this stuff? So I thought I'd better sit down and try and describe it a little bit more. So I tried to make this a single video in the new tips for um, or tips for new quad flyers video called Beta Flight Basics. And I started doing it and when I got to like having an hour worth of screen grabs and I thought actually I'm going to have to split these down into more manageable sections. Because when you find something's new and a little bit intimidating, what you don't want is this one hour video covering every single thing. So what I'm going to aim to do in this series is go very basic from um, basically tab by tab and even more basic than that about like what it actually is and, and how do you even connect your quad to it in the first place. So if this is all known stuff and it's too basic for you then skip ahead to the bit you want. If you're very new to it and don't know anything uh, start here I guess. So let's start with the very basic. What is beta flight? Where do I get it? How do I run it? First off beta flight um, is the actual code that will run on your flight controller. Uh, it's sometimes thought of as being the program that runs on your computer. That's the beta flight configurator. So two slightly different things, but we'll bundle the whole thing into beta flight. So where to get it first off? The beta flight configurator is a Chrome app, which means you need to be running the Chrome browser, which if you've typed anything into Google at any point ever, it probably has offered you a download to Chrome. Um, so if you haven't got that installed already, go and get it. Type Chrome into Google, it'll offer you it and download that and run it. Available every platform pretty much that's out there. Once you've got that, go into the App Store and you can simply type in Betaflight as your search. You'll see the Betaflight configurator there. Download that and run it. Yay! That was easy, wasn't it? So what's next? Some of the uh, questions I've been getting, uh, especially again from the new guys with the RTFs, is they don't know what they're running. They've bought this RTF quad and it doesn't have any named components in there. And it's like, well, I don't want to flash with the wrong thing and they're, they're a bit scared of where to go from here. So yeah, it has all changed a bit. In the early days, you had things like this. This is, I'm just looking for the thing. It says Acro Fire, I don't know if that's gonna focus, 32 Rev 6 on it. It's an A's Rev 6. Odds on it's going to be running the NAS firmware. So if you don't know what it's got, and I've got um, this fly color here. This is the one that doesn't work, um, but I know I can connect to it still. So the fly color is not its own firmware. So what is it? Well, let's talk about now how to connect it and how to find out what you're running. First off, you will need a USB cable to plug in to your USB socket and the other end into your computer. You should get flashing lights, means it's booted up okay. Once you've done this in the beta flight configurator, you should notice you have a new COM port available. In Windows, it's a COM port, COM6, COM7, whatever. In um, OS X or on a Mac, it's gonna be like a dev slash TTY something, normally SLAB to USB, UART, something along those lines. Click connect and you should see a nice little picture of the quad on your screen. And if you wiggle it around, you should find the pictures wiggling around, which is all good. But finding out exactly what you're running, if you go to the CLI tab and simply type version, it tells me here for this one, I'm running Beta Flight SP Racing F3 317. So the firmware I need to flash this with is the same one on there, which is SP Racing F3. You'll generally find a lot of these sort of Chinese clones or no-name brands uh, somehow using the SP Racing F3. But SP Racing F3 is an original brand, but it seems to be copied places, but that's just the way that goes. That's all I want to leave you with today. You found out what you're running. Brilliant. Good start. 
Next time, I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about how to actually flash a new version of Betaflight onto your flight controller, how to keep the settings you've got, more crucially, how to fix things if things go wrong. Hopefully it's not worried you too much. I'll see you in part two. Cheers for now.